keep your head on straight. Keep making improvements. Just do what you can. Keep working, keep trying. Hey folks, welcome to the latest edition of the vlog. This is number 56. This is my first vlog back after being out for a week-ish with a cold, the flu, and food poisoning. That was a heck of a, a week and a half there. Hey, I was back and I was able to bowl this week. Didn't go very well, but I was able to bowl this week. So as you may recall, last video, I went ahead and polished up my new Mythic Jackal. The goal was to put it at close to factory. How'd it go? And not very good. The Jackal was probably not the right play on the condition anyway. The polish just made it worse. I basically got junk ball reaction. I had no kill in practice, tried to force it in, in game one when I really probably shouldn't have. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it home. Well, it's home, obviously, I'm home. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back out and break the shine on it, similar to how I did for the phase five, which was not enough cover for the other night. I tried, it just didn't have the get up and go. I think getting the Mythic Jackal, sand it down a bit, let it lane shine off a little bit, will make it react more to how I kind of want it to. So that's where I'm gonna go with that ball for now. So polishing it, wrong move, but that's okay. It's another data point, another thing for me to learn from. After trying to throw the Mythic for a bit, my outlet of course is often going to be the Zen except for whatever reason tonight my Zen wasn't fitting I couldn't get it off my hand very well so on a whim I went up to the pro shop and asked Will to compare the Zen's span to another ball turns out the Zen was actually drilled about an eighth of an inch too long of a span basically I got that ball around the same time I went to switch grips and when he went to put the hole in for the thumb. He drilled it according to the measurements for a slug, not for uh, the switch grip, which was weird because the Zen was the best fitting ball out of my entire arsenal before I changed thumb sizes. But after I changed thumb sizes, now that span is really long. I can't get out of it, but it got fixed. Uh, he was able to basically get it taken care of while I was in the middle of game two. Not pretty, but functional and will do the job very, very well. I will probably lead with that ball next week. So the night was a struggle through the first game and a half. I had no shot with the Mythic. I couldn't fit my Zen, and I didn't really have the friction available to use the Phase 5. I tried a few frames, and I had a good release with it, and it just sort of went bleh. Eventually moved to the UFO alert, and spent some time, and finally found a good shot with it. And this is where some really positive things came out of this week of league. I watched a video from Brad and Kyle recently, which talked about elbow position and having your elbow tucked well in next to your body before you start, keeping it under your body, under your arm as you swing back, and being in a good position when you come through release, helping you sort of stay inside the ball. I never really gotten a good handle on how that's all going to feel and what that's supposed to actually look like or what you're supposed to think about when you're doing it. Their video helps a little bit because it talked about how certain things should feel, but still didn't really click for me until Brandon gave me a little bit of advice to basically, on my stance, have my right wrist turned out just a bit. And having it out like this automatically rotates your elbow inward. And when I did this, it took my elbow in really nicely, keeping my hand, my basically my thumb outside during my backswing, got my elbow tucked in and doing nothing but that through the rest of the, the, the swing gave me some really good releases. Oh, that felt really good. Oh, that was the best release I've thrown in months. Oh, baby. There were a few shots in that third game when I had some really nice revs in the ball. The ball showed a really nice reaction and the ball came off my hand very nicely without a ton of extra work on my behalf. So starting to have things click in that regard, and that's a really good feeling. While I started to get really tired near the third game and wasn't really able to capitalize on it, the first two games were a lot of stress trying to figure things out, and I'm still not back to 100% of being sick. So I wasn't able to really take full advantage and shoot a really high game with it. I was able to actually come away from that game feeling good, which given how the first two games went, is a big upgrade. 
it was a very challenging night mentally. I probably shouldn't have been bowling with this this week. I didn't do a good job of taking care of myself after being sick. And I didn't hydrate well. And so I was overstressed, overwhelmed a little bit just by sound and stuff at, at bowling. So that definitely conflicted, contributed to having it being a bad night. In retrospect, give myself some more time after being sick. So in summary, Mythic Ball needs some needs some surface. Zin Ball needed a fixing. My wrist position at stance helps my elbow, and it was great. For take better care of myself after I'm sick. I should have been better about that, and I will try to be that in the future. So that is it for me for this week. I am going to be out next week. I'm going to be visiting some family out of state. So I will not be bowling league this coming week. I will see what I can do about getting something up. Maybe some shorts, maybe some stuff I record on the road. We'll see. Maybe I'll go bowling down there and just have a, a fun blog about that. Uh, happy holidays, whichever winter holidays of choice you do celebrate. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Have a great one. Good luck and good bowling.